What? An escape pod? Computer, are you there? Yes, Captain. What happened? How did I get here? Tell me. Yes, Captain. Galactic core subspace signal lost resulting in power core overload. Emergency transport to escape pod was successful. Navigation offline due to galactic core subspace signal loss. Cryogenic sleep was initialized. How long was I out? Due to data storage overrun, it is impossible to determine how long cryogenic sleep was engaged. With no galactic core subspace signal and no star charts that match local pulsars, establishing a timeline externally is also impossible. Data storage overrun? Just how big is the data storage on this pod anyway? The data storage device on this pod is expected to be able to hold the equivalent of 100 years of scientific and navigational data. Without knowing exterior conditions, I would estimate the whole storage device has been overwritten at least once. What does that mean in this context? At least 210 years have passed since this pod lost the galactic core subspace signal. I'm sorry, Captain. Did anyone else come with us? I'm sorry, Captain. No Space Navy transponders detected. You are alone. Alone? What about... Wait. I can't seem to remember any of the crew. Or anything about the accident. What's wrong with me? This pod is equipped with a medical grade cryogenic diagnostic scanner. Please stand by. Scanning now. Scanning complete. Part of your skull and brain were damaged. Records of the procedure have been lost but the injury was treated. Can you tell me anything about the treatment from the scan? <sighs> the injury was not treated on board the escape pod. A Type 3 holographic data storage device now resides where most of your long-term memory would have been. One of your eyes appears to be wholly artificial. Well then, what do you suggest we do? This pod is equipped to handle a passenger only when in cryogenic sleep or for short-term medical transport. I would recommend selecting a planet and re-engaging cryogenic sleep till your arrival. Okay, selection made. Let's go. I, I don't think we're alone out here.